Okay, we are good to go. We are rolling right now? Rolling everything. Quick. Um, would you like me to call you Mr. Hilfiger or Tommy in the video? Tommy. Tommy. Perfect. We took a four-day trip to the Bahamas to stay aboard Tommy Hilfiger's yacht, Flag. From the moment we arrived, the experience was incredible. This is our backdrop. It's pretty amazing. Over our four days aboard, we had amazing meals, toured the yacht like we always do, enjoyed the beautiful blue Bahamian waters, and even got a chance to interview Tommy and his wife, Dee. We're, we're also foodies, so... We love our chef and love eating on the boat. You might ask him if you like Japanese food, ask him for Nobu night. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm so glad we said yes to Nobu night. Our whole team was overwhelmed by how incredible the experience was. I'm fairly new to the team. I just started in November. To already have an experience like this on board Tommy Hilfiger's yacht is something I never thought I'd be able to achieve in my life. I don't know if it's possible but I hope this video truly captures the incredible experience it was to stay aboard Flag. Everything about this experience was incredible. The food, the picturesque views, and the hospitality of the crew on board made this trip unforgettable. I'm so excited to share our experiences with all of you, and now, let's begin. That is so good. Would you like some picacha? Uh, sure. All right, everyone, we're gonna start our tour on the main deck aft. We're here in the Bahamas. Our views are fantastic. This is our anchorage for the next three days. And I'm so excited to be here. We got this amazing yacht. Life's good. Yeah, it has been almost exactly a year since we were last in the Bahamas, a little bit over. Uh, ever since we were last here, I've been dreaming of coming back. The color of the water, the weather, it's, it's really, I think, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. Everything. It's so nice out here. And before we go to the seating area, we actually have a pastoral here, access to the side deck. That staircase takes you up to the bridge deck, and we're going to cover that space later. Now, coming to the seating area, comfortable chairs and sofas, the ottomans, really nice oversized table in the center. You can see the built-in seating area on this side and the color palette, textures, pillows, details. It's so cozy, it's so timeless. We have two staircases going down to the beach club, which we will cover later in the tour. And coming back here, two built-ins. Sink is on the left-hand side and we have a built-in fridge here stocked with water and Pellegrino. Now, before we leave the main deck aft, I gotta mention, this yacht is in immaculate condition. It's meticulously maintained. If you look around, the furniture, deck hardware, deck floors, everything is polished to perfection. It's so clean, and it's just a very impressive vessel. Above, we have cove lighting with recessed lighting, speakers, security cameras, everything you need. And that's pretty much it for the main deck aft. Now, let's go this way. We have these motorized, sliding glass doors opening up to the main salon. Phenomenal space, love the sectional couch, two chairs, plush carpet. It's very quiet in here. We have the bar on the other side, massive windows bringing natural light. I love the accessories and details on this side. And obviously to complement the space here, we have this dual elevation bar. It's all leather wrapped, bar stools. And behind these leather wrapped panels, we actually have a TV. These are motorized doors, push of a button, they just open up, you move the stools out of the way, and you can watch TV from your couch. Really nice. Now, Mikey, why don't you go to the other side so we can show everyone the bar. You have your sink, refrigerators, few drawers, and over here, we have a display for the bar. Check this out. Look at all the spirits here. Phenomenal. There are some really nice bottles of scotch, whiskey, cognac in there. Uh, I do not know the specifics of them, but I know that uh, a 21-year-old Glenlivet is a nice scotch. It's a pretty strong lineup. Yeah. Right? And check this out. Let's go to the other side. By the way, hardware all locks. And coming here, we have the cigar humidor. Let's see. It smells incredible, by the way. Yeah. And there you go. I can't say I know as much about cigars, but I'm sure they're also very nice. And that's it for the main salon seating area. Now, Mikey, let's take everybody this way. On the other side, we have 
the formal dining room. Now, before I talk about the details here, I actually want to talk about the yacht for a second. It's a Fed ship delivered in 2000. It's been through a couple major refits since 2000. I think the last refit was completed in 2022. It's 62.3 meters long, 10.8 meter beam, 1,078 gross tons. It has seven staterooms in total. We have six guest staterooms on the lower level and we have the owner stateroom on this level. It's available for charter in the Mediterranean during summer and it's available for charter in the Caribbean during winter. We'll put the rates on the screen as well. And it's also on the market for sale with an asking price of $46 million. I wanna give big thanks to the owners, Tommy Hilfiger and D Hilfiger for having us on board. And I also wanna give big thanks to the listing brokerage, Burgess for putting this trip together. We're excited to be here and we'll have more information about this yacht in the description of this video. We've been touring a lot of yachts on our channel over the last few years and learning the cruise. Uh, understanding the industry it taught us a lot. So I want to understand how did you get into yachting in the first place? Oh, I was chartering yachts for many years. My friend built a yacht and uh, the yacht was pretty fantastic. So I bought it and uh, it was called Faith before. Okay. And now I changed it to Flag. The reason I changed it to Flag is because my logo of my company is a, a red, white and blue flag and actually because of my company, I was able to buy the, buy the yacht. I've done a lot to it already. Um, new AV, new air conditioning, new galley, new tenders, new toys. Um, I keep it in impeccable condition. Uh, the chef is amazing uh, on another level. The crew is incredibly uh, experienced and professional. And uh, my family looks at them as family. Now, Mikey, let's slow this way. Welcome to the dining room. Beautiful oval table in the center, seating for 12. I love this chrome inlay design. Above, we also have oval cove lighting, chandelier, recessed lights, and Mikey, can we bring everybody to this side? We have this really cool art piece. It's called Portal. It was delivered to this yacht two years ago, and check this out. You can actually turn it off, and it looks like a mirror box and it actually matches the looks of the TVs that we have in the guest state rooms, the ones that I've showed you. Now, looking around, we have built-in cabinetry, beautiful wood tones, and can we also get a close-up here? Look at the glassware here, how it's perfectly organized, tucked behind this cabinet. This is one of the things that I love about yachts, is everything is meticulously organized because these are constantly moving and changing locations, so you have to be very thought out in the way that you uh, place your glassware. Well said. All right, before we leave the dining area, we have this hallway taking us to the galley. Hi, welcome to the galley. My name's Josh. Uh, this is the real engine room of the boat. Josh is not only the master of the galley, but also an expert of creating the most incredible dishes I've ever tasted. During our trip, Josh was responsible for cooking all of our meals, providing a truly unforgettable culinary experience. He's been the secret ingredient that made our yacht trip even more enjoyable. So we're a team of two chefs. We cook for both crew and guests. We've got a team of 17 crew, uh, and uh, we can cater for up to 14 guests on board. It's a small, compact galley, but it packs a lot of punch and it has a lot of top-of-the-range equipment. Uh, we've got the double uh, rationale ovens, uh, in my opinion, the, the best ovens you can have. Uh, we've got the burner uh, uh, salamander grill, a six burner, uh, inductions, these are uh, five kilowatt typically, they're usually around three and a half, so they're very powerful, um, great for, for, for doing things quickly. Um, we have a, a grill and a frat fryer. We've got integrated fridges and a fridge freezer in the corner here as well. I was a chef in restaurants for a long period before. Um, being a yacht chef is somewhat different, but obviously you rely on your cooking skills. Love our chef and love eating on the boat, but have Josh make you an American barbecue. Okay. One night. And his breads. Our chef is like really incredible making homemade breads. And she really wasn't wrong about the breads. I really can't praise the chef enough on this yacht. Every morning our breakfast would be waiting for us, buffet style. 
Anything we could want was there. Breads, pastries, yogurts, fresh honey dripping from the comb, and any hot breakfast we wanted would be ordered as soon as we sat down as well. Good morning, everyone. Day three. Well, technically, this is our second full day. We started off early today. We're about to have our breakfast. And something about waking up in a yacht, walking outside, looking at your surroundings, it's, it's incredible. I'm super excited for today. Needless to say, we're gonna eat some really good food right now and get our day going. The breakfast we had every morning was absolutely incredible. But more than anything, it was a time for us to gather and reflect on the incredible experience we were all having together. Our mom would just be like, hey, you, me, heart. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to ask, how was that communicated? <laughs> and then we'd do it, and I'd be all the way across, and he'd be like, hey. Come. <laughs> and Jason, and Jason's flying drone. Oh, yeah. I'm like, Jason, stop. I'm like, go up. And he listened to me right away. You're, you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I did, like, I did, 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 his culinary skills and passion for cooking are evident in every meal he prepares, as you'll see later in the tour when we try out Nobonite on Tommy's recommendation. Tonight I think we're going to do a little Asian theme, so a little nod to, to Nobu, uh, give you guys a few little uh, treats, uh, so hopefully you enjoy that. And I have to say, the meals that come out of the galley are insane. Now, let's go here. We have this door opening up to the staircase landing, wood paneled walls, stone floors. This hallway takes you to the owner's stateroom. This door right here opens up to a day head and coming back to the staircase, it looks phenomenal. I love how it opens up on the bottom, but as it goes up, it kind of tapers off beautifully. Look at the curvature and the wood paneling, chrome railing, leather top, the design of the staircase, they have this carpet top and they have these chrome, I guess, carpet holders. There has to be a term for that, although I don't know what it is. Let us know in the comment section below. Yeah. And it just looks so exquisite, so timeless. And lastly, between these two old sconces, we have this door opening up to the elevator. It's a nice convenience to have since this yacht has four levels and this elevator goes to all of them. Overall, very spacious and bright landing. And now I wanna take this staircase so we can continue our tour on the lower level. We have six guest staterooms here, elevator landing, and we're gonna start our tour with the first guest stateroom here. Full size bed on this side with a padded back wall, single bed here. Same wood tones are also brought to this room. Built-in desk, two portholes. And in front of that, we have the leather wrapped motorized shades. Very spacious, very cozy. This yacht also has zero speed stabilizers, so it's very calm and it's very comfortable to be in the lower level. All right, let's check out the bathroom. Beautiful natural stone floors. They brought the same stone on the walls here, built-in tub, chrome fixtures, mosaic inlay, and they use the same mosaic as a border design on the floors. Vanities, cabinetry, chrome handles, Everything looks so timeless. It's such a beautiful yacht. Now, that's it for the first guest stateroom. I'm gonna go to the other side. We have the second guest stateroom here. Pretty much the same layout, super cozy. And you ready for this? This guest stateroom and the room that we just toured have these That's very, beds. very cool. How cool is that? I like that a lot. They even have a built-in LED lighting. See, I knew you were gonna do that at some point because I knew these were here, but this is yeah. the first time I've actually seen them down. I really like this. Such a clever detail. Yeah. I love it. And of course, this stateroom has its own full bathroom, two sinks, built-in tub here. Behind me, we have two portholes just for the bathroom. Floors are heated. It's a really nice bathroom. Very nice. Now, let's go back to the hallway. This hallway is actually very long since we have six staterooms. These two cabins are in the center point of the lower deck. Let's continue our tour with this one. King size bed, padded back wall, again, two portholes. And before I talk more about this room, I actually want to grab the camera from Mikey because this is actually where Mikey stays. Hello, welcome. Again, I'm Mikey. One year to the date, uh, almost, we were in the Bahamas. I did this exact same thing. Um, so, 
a lot about this room that I like. Ennis has talked about the mosaic tile floors. Ennis has talked about most things in here, but there's a I few things. I might have covered a lot of details. There's a few things he hasn't talked about, though. All Starting right. with one of my favorite details. Ennis, bring it over here. If you open this closet door, each of these rooms has independent thermostats. So if you do want your room colder or warmer than the rest, like I would like mine colder, you can adjust your temperature. Number two, recessed ceiling. Nice. Did we talk about the TVs? Because I know we brought that up earlier in the tour. I was going to cover it in my room. We'll cover that in Ennis's room. Um, let's see. Thermostat, check. Uh, all, all well and good. Bathroom, let's, let's go take a look. <laughs> Ennis talked about the mosaic tile floors. Another thing he didn't talk about, which I really like, automatic blinds in all the bathrooms, which is very cool. Um, the first night we stayed on this yacht, we were uh, actually in a port in uh, Nassau. So my bedroom was right up against the dock and these blinds really added uh, another level of privacy to my experience. Uh, Do you enjoy staying here? Of course I enjoy staying. Who wouldn't enjoy staying here? Look at this. I know, I just wanted to ask. This is Tommy Hilfiger's yacht. As we walk around, you'll see that like, everything isn't branded, but the color schemes match and like, everything just has this kind of unification to the design and the, and the color palette. Uh, like I did last year, like I, I feel, feel deeply, deeply uncomfortable. If I could have the camera back, please. All right, <laughs> there you go. And this is Mikey's room. All right, let's go to the other side. This is where I stay. Guest stateroom number four also comes with a king size bed. And like Mikey said, sheets, pillows, beds, everything on this yacht is so comfortable. And I have two details. Number one, let me start here. So on yachts, you wanna make sure you maximize every bit of space, right? Let me see if I can open this one. Okay. Trying to top my details. That's right, there's another one right here. All right, let's show these mirror TVs, right? So you have your own iPad, one for each room. Welcome to flag. Let me swipe up, TV, Apple TV. There oh, you go. Palais Venetian. Yep, Can south of France. That's right. And actually, let me turn it off just like that. Incredible, right? I didn't know those were there last night, so <laughs> I'll probably use those tonight. There you go. All right, come this way. They have a nice built-in desk here or dressing table, Wi-Fi cards for each one of the rooms. I'm gonna cover the code. I noticed that last night, very cool. It's flag branded. And these rooms also have ton of storage space. Built-in cabinetry on that side as well as here. And let's go this way. We have the full bathroom. These bathrooms are very nice, cozy. You have heated floors, again, with mosaic details. Two portholes on this side, two sinks. You know what this yacht or these finishes remind me of? What's that? Nero. Oh yeah, uh, we toured a yacht at Monaco Yacht Show, Nero. It had just massive guest cabins and... Uh, it's just like the design elements and the theme. Exactly. It reminds me. It's another Burgess uh, listing. Yeah, a lot of wood finishes. Um, very kind of timeless, elegant design, yeah. you know? Absolutely. Just a beautiful bathroom. All right, Mikey, let's go back to the hallway. We actually have a, another really nice detail here. Come into this side, we have a nice hallway landing, some built-in cabinetry, another built-in fridge for the guests. And uh, let's continue. Two more guest staterooms. I guess let's continue with the one on the left-hand side. Comes with a king-size bed. I believe this room and the room next door are a little bit wider comparing to our rooms. Padded back wall, built-in cabinetry, two portholes. By the way, lower level gets great natural light. And around the corner, we have a dressing table, full bathroom, just like the other cabins. And that's it for the fifth guest stateroom. Now, let's go check out the room on the other side. Pretty much the same layout. I don't know how many times I said king size bed, but this one also has a king size bed. One of the unique aspects of this yacht, the fact that we have seven staterooms, a lot of times yachts this size have six staterooms. Honestly, this yacht is perfect for families, I gotta say. It's so cozy, so comfortable, so timeless. It's one of those yachts you buy and you keep it in a family for a long time. Now, before we end our tour here, I wanna mention one more thing. This yacht has a crew of 17 and their staff quarters and their common areas are also on the lower level, but detached from the guest suites. Hi, I'm 
Bea and I'm the second stew on board. Uh, Ian has told me that you guys want to see how it looks in the crew areas. So follow me in here and this is my cabin I'm sharing with another stewardess. I love this room because it's just so cozy and I'm sharing it with my best friend so that's great. <laughs> Everyone shares uh, with another person in the crew. In total, we're 17 people. So our shifts work, uh, when we have guests on board, we work 13 hours a day with the two hours rest. Then we always have different times of break, so we'll have the cabin for ourselves. Uh, guests off, we work Monday to Friday, eight to four. And if we have time off, we either be here or we're down in the crew mess. So this is a common crew area. Uh, this is where we have all our meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, play board games, just have fun with our second family in the crew. One of the perks be being in the crew mess is all this delicious food the chefs make for us that we can snack through the whole day. It's pretty straightforward. I love working on this yard. You've seen where we sleep, now you've seen where we eat, and I hope you enjoyed it. All right, everyone. Let's go check out the beach club, which is an exciting area. We have the outdoor shower here. All the toys are laid out right now, and we're gonna talk about them in a second. And turning back, we can see the flag, name sign, comfortable space here. And going through this door, we have the garage. This is where they store some of the toys, two e-foils, wakeboards and skis above, paddle boards, some gear, snorkeling equipment on this side, and personally, I'm really excited for this guy right here. What is that? It's a jet surfboard, uh, but it looks super cool. And yeah, it's a nice space. Like I said, they stored most of the toys here, but I believe jet skis go on the bow and they have garages for the two tenders. Now, let's go back outside so we can see the lineup. They set up this obstacle course for us, which looks like a lot of fun. You have a ramp, upside down trampoline, bridge, rock climbing wall, and a slide. We should give this a go in a few minutes. We, After this uh, not, A-cam round. Not we should, we will. Let's go! Ah! Oh. <laughs> we will. I have a feeling it's going to get competitive. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. And uh, behind that we have an aqua banner. Pretty smart. Aqua, cabana, mix them together. Okay. I didn't put that together. I've actually never seen one of those before. It's like a little floating cabana. And behind that is what we're really looking forward to today two Sea-Doo jet skis. And I'm not talking about those base model jet skis. I'm talking about the real deal. And um, I'm really excited. Jet skis, Bahamas. Blue water. Blue water, come on, does it get better? What are your, some of your favorite things to do on the app? Uh, well, definitely swim. I love to swim. So what I love to do is try to find um, the most beautiful swim areas. I love clear water because I like to see what's underneath me. <laughs> so I find like little shallow clean pools and swim and snorkel. That's my favorite. And then I love all the, the toys. I love like the e-foils and the jet skis and um, I like water skiing and I, I love all the sports and activities. There's something very, very special about the Bahamas. The scenery, the color of the water, the sand here, and all of it coming together makes this place, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful places in the world. On any real charter experience, a must-have is a variety of sea toys, and flag definitely didn't disappoint. We usually work super hard in our trips, and uh, it's, it's hard to get on the water because we need to do so many stuff, but this time we had a lot of time and we, we spent a great time on the water. It felt incredible to finally jump into the ocean because the water is so crystal blue. You're surrounded by it 24 seven and all you wanna do is just put on your bathing suit and jump in. We used the water toys, we used sea bobs, we used jet skis. I, I love riding jet skis because I really feel the nature. I really like to feel the wind, the, the, the water splashing on my face. I really love it. And I really love to go fast. And the jet skis here are incredibly fast. These were very powerful. I was shredding the waters and it was absolutely amazing. They even set up an obstacle course for us, and we discovered that our new guy, Colin, was forced to be reckoned with. Oh, 
What the hell? Obstacle course is definitely not my forte. We also found out that uh, Colin is a pretty good obstacle course guy. He like went through that thing in no time. Regardless, this setup is actually quite fun. I'm going back out there. As much as I would have liked to spend all day out there enjoying those toys, we came here to tour a yacht. Not show sure everyone how much we need a suntan. So let's continue our tour with the owner's stateroom, which is located on the main deck. These double doors open up. First space we have is the study, built-in desk. Again, everything is flag branded. I love that. We have this beautiful library here, LED lit, books, everything, proportions, accessories. Just looks very nice. Yes. Now, follow me this way. Welcome to the bedroom itself. It's full beam super spacious. I just love how bright it is. We have the first seating area here, picture windows on each side. Of course, you have your motorized shades and right in the center of the room, we have the king size bed, padded back wall, love the curved molding detail above with more recess than lighting. And if you look around, all the corners are curved as well. It kind of softens up the feel of the room. Then you have a pop-up TV here. I personally really like this detail because you can leave the room open like this or whenever you want to watch TV, you can simply raise it. Space is very elegant. I think the interior designer here, Shahan Minassian, did a fantastic job. I feel like this yacht is going to age so beautifully. Like 20 years down the road, it's going to look this elegant. And yeah, just a beautiful bedroom. And let's check out the bathrooms. Yeah. We have the first one here again. Beautiful stone textures, vanities on this side with the makeup area here, picture window. Our views are fantastic. Then you have a built-in tub, bidet, toilet. They even have cold lighting here. Very nice. Now, before we go check out the second bathroom, I actually wanna open this door a little bit more. This is the walk-in closet, definitely good size. And the first detail I wanna talk about here are the hangers. Can we get a close-up? We have never seen this detail on any yacht or any house. They have built-in LED lighting on the hangers. Very cool. That probably subtly highlights all your clothes. It's behind you also. I don't... <laughs> oh yeah, I could have shown that, I guess. I got so excited as soon as I saw it, I was like, what an uh, exquisite detail. Yeah. And obviously it's super spacious. You have some drawers here, glass shelves, mirror back walls, really nice closet. Now, right on the other side, we have the second bathroom. Again, stone floors that are heated, Vanities on this side with mirror fronts, your sink, generous countertop space, medicine cabinets, LED lighting, makeup lighting, and then we have this glass partition wall here separating the walk-in shower. I'm going in there. Hidden drain, bench. Look how many body sprays they have. Rain head above, but you know the most impressive thing in this bathroom? How every single hardware and chrome piece is polished. Yeah, it's extremely clean. Extremely clean. I cannot see a single water spot on any of the fixtures. I'm not just talking about shower heads. Look how perfect the window frame here looks. Yeah, and back to the crew. They've been nothing but like fantastic the entire time we've been here. Uh, yacht crews in general have, have more attention to detail, I think, than any group of people on the planet. But I do think this crew stands out a little bit more. Yeah. And they've been great and it shows how much pride they take in their work. And yeah, this is a beautiful walk-in shower, amazing owner's stateroom. And with that, we're done on this level. Now let's go up so we can check out the bridge deck. Welcome to the bridge deck aft, another beautiful outdoor space, built-in seating here, retractable awning above, teak decking, and we're in the Bahamas. Our views are fantastic. I'm really enjoying our time here. Now, right in the center of the bridge deck aft, we have this dining table seating for six. And this is where we've been having most of our meals, lunches, dinners. We're a little bit more elevated on this level, better views. It's just a really nice dining area. Of course, since we had so many meals at this table, we're gonna have to talk a little bit more about the food. Mikey and I spent a lot of time on these videos shooting my walkthrough. 
but we don't usually get the opportunity to break away in the middle of the day to have an incredible multiple course meal. All right, this is our first lunch on board. They serve this Greek salad, fennel salad, salmon, chicken. I mean, meals are incredible. Dishes are really nice, beautiful day. And so far we did the first part of the walkthrough. Now we're gonna do the second part. It's a good day, pipes are good, and I'm gonna get back to work. As memorable as lunches were, they had a little surprise for us in store for our final lunch aboard flag. Get our place ready for this. A full-on Parmesan wheel pasta experience. Yeah, and yeah, don't forget the oversized peppermint. <laughs> It's always going to be so mad. Thank you. As always, the food was perfectly executed and the staff always made us feel so welcome and relaxed. How much does that thing weigh? Let's be real. Oh, it's it's a lot. <laughs> Especially Leandra, the chief stewardess. She has a very interesting and important job. Think of her as the ambassador for the entire guest experience. Hi, my name is Leandra. I'm the chief stewardess on FLAG. My role on board is to ensure that we provide a high-end service to guests and I manage the interior. She's almost like the onboard concierge, planning and scheduling any of the activities the guests may want to experience on board. I enjoy working on FLAG because the crew, I feel, make the experience. There's a good energy between the crew. We all get along really well and we make every situation fun. So I think the guests can feel this energy and they feed off it too, which really enhances their experience. I could praise her all day for her attention to detail, but again, we have a tour to get back to. Now, on the other side, we have this built-in cabinetry. That's a pop-up TV, by the way. Really? Yeah. Uh, the entire top comes up and that's where they hide the TV. So you get this kind of like clean look. I did not even know that at all. Now I know, it looks very... Deceiving. Yeah. You would just assume it's another. I uh, thought it may be full of more like sparkling water, you know? Well, that's on the other side. Okay. We have a built in fridge and a sink, so you have a nice bar there, more seating areas. This staircase comes up from the main deck aft. Look at all the details here with the railing, curved glass. And this staircase takes you up to the sun neck, which we'll see in a bit. A lot's happening even on this level. Now, follow me this way. Another motorized sliding glass door opening up to the sky lounge. Sectional couch, coffee table in the center. That looks like an art piece, right? There's actually a TV behind that as well. That's what I heard, but I have no idea how this works. I haven't seen it either. Guess what, you and I are figuring this out. Let's see, flag. iPad back there, I assume? Okay. They weren't kidding. That's a very nice touch. And this space is super cozy. You have a table here with few chairs massive windows looking out to the views and on the other side they have a bar for the sky lounge and i've been told that they also have special cocktails and it just shows how far crew on board is willing to go to make your vacation or your charter experience special a lot of times when we tour these yachts we have these massive salons and we always see these bars but we've never gotten the opportunity to actually sit down and have a drink and that's what we're doing tonight The staff will serve these custom curated cocktails to the guests. I ended up getting Sandra, our social media manager, and Jason, one of our videographers, to kind of be the guinea pigs to taste the cocktails for us. That's really good. Mm, I don't taste that much alcohol, actually. It's your leche martini. That was really good. Ooh, okay. Here we go, whiskey sour. This is my drink of choice that I share with my uncle when we go on uncle and niece nights. That's really good. My uncle would be proud. I think this is my favorite. And this is the Sky Lounge. Now, back to the staircase landing. Again, very spacious. Elevator going up to the sun deck. And following here, door opens up to a day head. You got to have one for each level. Very nice. And let's continue our tour. Now we have this long hallway. This door opens up to the wheelhouse. We have the captain's quarter on our right-hand side, staff staircase, and last door opens up to the wheelhouse itself. I gotta say, this is up there with some of the biggest 
wheelhouses we've ever seen on the yachts that we toured. There's actually a partition wall here, seating on the other side. We have some maps here, navigation equipment. There's actually even an office here for the captain, I believe. It's nice that they have their own space like this. Yeah, really cool. Within the wheelhouse. The wheelhouse is the captain's domain. And since we were trying to give you all the full experience, we had to bring Captain Patrick in and ask him a few questions. I gotta say, this has to be the most comfortable it is. seat we've ever tried in a wheelhouse. So I'm wondering if anybody falls asleep. Uh... It's, uh, <laughs> it, it's a great feature. It's a good spot to sit when you're on watch. It's a good spot to have guests and kids come up here and, and hang out and check out the view while we're steaming. We've also got this air conditioning system that oh, yeah. pumps cold air straight onto this <laughs> spot. <laughs> that wakes people up if they're feeling uh, tired. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice, comfortable spot. And this is where we have most of our screens, radars, navigation equipment, autopilot. Um, give us a little bit of a breakdown. Okay. You know, one of the questions I want to ask, and I roughly know what it is, but what does bow thruster do? So the bow thruster is um, basically just a big propeller that, that's mounted in the hull below the waterline. Uh -huh. And um, it just enables you to push the bow left or right using gotcha. this little joystick here. I guess it comes in really handy when you're in a port or you're yeah, in like a yeah, just tight for, situation just to navigate. Exactly, yeah, for just for maneuvering in, in tight spots, yeah. And those two screens, one on the left, one on the right, those are your radars, right? Yeah, so two radars, X-band and S-band. Um, What's the difference? So basically this is sort of better in uh, close quarters and that's kind of your long range radar. And that um, basically helps you see who's around you, what kind of vessels are around you, and yeah, make sure exactly. like, you're yeah. safe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it, that, that, they'll pick up islands, boats, whatever is around you, and just display it on the screen here so that you can avoid them. Can we talk about the engine and kind of like the performance aspects of this yacht? Yep, so um, maximum speed is sort of 16 knots, maybe up to 17 if we're, if we're um, flat chat. Cruising speed, 14 knots. Uh, we burn about 450 litres an hour um, okay. at uh, cruising speed. Getting to talk to the captain about the performance aspect of this yacht really piqued my interest even more. So next, we're gonna go to the engine room to talk to the chief engineer. Now, this is a one good looking engine room. I gotta say, considering the fact that this yacht is 22 years old, this place looks immaculate. You guys keep it in perfect shape. And I'm also realizing there are a lot of spaces and walkways. So it's really comfortable to walk around this engine room. I'm assuming that comes in really handy when it comes to servicing the engines or the other equipment. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's a really good layout from FedShip. They, they always think about where they position their machinery and, and, and try and give you as, as, as much access to the, to the working parts so it makes it easier for, easy for us to maintain the systems. Amazing. And I see two massive Caterpillar engines. Can you give us a little bit of a rundown? Yeah, so on board flag we have two uh, Caterpillar 3516 main engines. They produce 2,000 horsepowers of uh, drive for the, for the boat, so com combined 4,000 horsepower. Can we actually go down there? I want to look at these engines yeah, close yeah, by. Yeah, let's do it. Normally on these tours we don't really get someone like you who walks around with us to talk about all the details. This engine looks massive, but can you Briefly explain some of the dials here, some of the components and parts. I just want to have a basic understanding of the assembly. So when you when you're looking at this engine, you can see right here we've got the the sort of the startup and control. You have some analog dials here where you can monitor oil pressure, um, jacket water temperature, things like that. Um, when you're looking at the engine, some of the big things you see straight away of this this shiny section just here. That's actually the crankcase breather filter, so the engine can breathe while it's running. Yeah. And you've also got, at the front, you've got the uh, jacket water header tank, so that's carrying the jacket water coolant for the engine. Got it. And then as you look around the engine, you see things like the cylinder heads. So we have 16 of these, and the nice thing with these is we, we have them all chromed and, and they look nice, so. Now, a lot of the yachts that we toured most of them have Caterpillar engines, so I know these engines are not like really one-offs, but still, they are very unique assemblies. How do you learn to work on an engine this size? Do you go to Caterpillar, get trained by them, or it's just 
mechanical knowledge that you, you've accumulated over the years? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit of both, really. Um, you can go and do an engine management course on these engines. So Caterpillar run courses where you can turn up at Caterpillar and they'll teach you about this engine. Um, but an engine's an engine, and over the years, you, you learn how these things work and, work, and you build that knowledge up over. I've been at sea working now for 25 years. So it's, it's just, a, just knowledge gained over years of working on engines and... Um, Amazing. The first thing I want to talk about here is the wing station. Let's see. There you go. This is a big yacht. So you want to make sure when you're docking, when you're near something that you don't damage the vessel. Yeah, to uh, explain to everyone, this is basically a very simplified version of the wheelhouse right next to us. So exactly. Uh, if the captain needs to see the dock and the edge of the boat while he's uh, docking up, he can. Exactly, that's what the wing station is for. Now let's go this way. This yacht has a massive bow. But before we talk about that, I gotta talk about our surroundings, the color of the ocean, the peace and tranquility here. And uh, I gotta give big thanks to Burgess for putting this shoot together. The scenery, the yacht, our experience here, I'm loving it. Yeah, this is an incredible experience and uh, it's all thanks to them. But honestly, any excuse I have to go to the Bahamas, I will take because it is awesome out here. I'll take it too. Well said, Mikey. All right, let's continue. Right in front of us, we have the bow. In the center, we can see the forward standing light as well as the anchor light, anchoring mechanisms. You have the crane. This is also where they store the two jet skis. And on the right hand side, we have the rescue boat. And again, I gotta commend the crew here. It's spotless out here. And the yacht looks incredible from this angle. Flag was built in the year 2000 by the iconic Dutch shipyard Fetship, who is well known as one of the industry's leaders for their build quality and innovation. What made you want to have a Fetship? Uh, same reason I want a Mercedes. I mean, they're the best in the world. The quality of workmanship is second to none. And there's something about Fetship. I think Fetship and Lursen are like two companies that are so iconic and something about their design, you can just tell it apart so easily. Yes. Although it was built 23 years ago, it still has an elegant and sleek look, which is a testament to Fetship's timeless design. Notice all the portholes we have on the lower decks for the guest cabins and the crew quarters. It's a design choice that provides plenty of natural light and creates an open and airy feel for anyone staying on the lower deck. One of my favorite design details are the angled roof lines that taper off and add an elegant touch to yacht's profile. Every level is designed to have plenty of outdoor space, which makes them perfect to add outdoor seating and dining areas while maximizing the views from each level. The design of Flag is timeless, and with the build quality, continued care, and attention to detail from the Hilfiger family and crew, Flag will continue to stand the test of time. All right, everyone, last level. Welcome to the sun deck. We're gonna start our tour on the aft. We have another dining area here, lounging chairs. These umbrellas are super cool. They're mounted to the walls there. And I also really like the railing design here. It kind of leans, it follows that roof line yeah. on the aft side of the yacht. And another seating area here, more seating. A lot of seating areas on this yacht, I gotta say. They're, they're like 12 guests, you said, right? Yes, according to the charter rules. According to the charter rules. You could easily have a party here and have 150 people on this yacht. A couple hundred, I would say. Yeah, easily, no problem. Very easily. Another awning design. And this section is super cool, in my opinion. We have a gas grill here. Sorry, charcoal grill, actually. It's not gas. Really? Yeah, it is actually a charcoal grill. They have a pizza oven behind that cabinet right there. In fact, tonight we're going to have a pizza night. So I'm really excited. I'm assuming we're gonna have it here. Now we've toured a lot of yachts over the last few years, but we rarely see a pizza oven on board. And it was a perfect demonstration of the chef's skill and ability to produce a variety of meals. I love the diversity of the pizza. It's like yeah. It's like so different. The crust is like super fluffy. And 
you know, the, the cross is amazing. Colin, I want your authentic, like, full perspective of, like, being on a yacht, eating food, everything. I know the whole never, experience. You've never been on a yacht before. Uh, like, like, I don't even, I don't even have, like, that right there, that was, I don't, I, there's literally not words. Like, I can't even fathom. It's, yeah. it's almost, like, not even real yet. Thank you very much. Get the gold flakes. We gotta work on that arm twist. I'll do it again. <laughs> I have a better idea. Why don't you turn right. the bowl? Ready? Go. You gotta work on that arm twist. That's a lot. Oh, the cookies. Oh, this is thank you. I have to record your reaction to it. Okay. So during lunch today, they served these white chocolate macadamia cookies. Mikey and I had to miss the lunch because we were shooting. Everybody said they are really good. So this is like the best cookie I've ever had. Oh my God. Yeah. Please tell the chef, Bridget, this is the best cookie I've ever had in my yeah. life. I told you. <laughs> this is insanity. Oh if you like Japanese food, ask him for Nobu night. Yeah. Really? Yeah. We had a lot of incredible food aboard Flag, but nothing prepared us for this. This wasn't just a meal, it was an artistic expression. Everybody, cheers. Good job. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. This was our final meal of the trip, and I can't think of a better way for it to have ended. It's up there with some of the best meals I've ever had in my life. Not just seafood, not just dinner. It was incredible. It consists of around 16 courses, each of them perfectly paired with each other. I think it was the best Japanese meal I've ever had from a chef on a yacht who was not Japanese. You know what's so impressive about this meal? Like, we're supposed to have a noble night. And I have some expectations, right? Some good sushi, maybe an appetizer or two. It's crazy to me, and what I cannot wrap my head around, it's like a proper replica. Oh like, yeah, oh, I was like, yeah, we're gonna have like a few sushi rolls. You know? <laughs> like how, out of that kitchen, we get like a commercial service here. I think it's safe to say that we were wildly impressed, but more than anything, I feel like this meal reflected our entire experience aboard Flag. I'm so glad we said yes to Nova Night. I'm actually struggling to finish everything, but I'm pushing through because I need to taste every single thing that they hand out, and then some, and then dessert, which I'm super excited for. I've never tasted anything like this in my life. <laughs> it's like a panna cotta. This is what's panna cotta? It's the best dessert I've ever had, like 100%. Really? 100% dessert. Mm. A perfect way to describe our Nova Night experience. And then we have these motorized sliding glass doors opening up to the landing. This door opens up to a full bathroom with a walk-in shower. And on the other side, we have the staircase, elevator, and coming right here, another set of motorized sliding glass doors open up to the second part of the sun deck. I love this space. Comes with two built-in seating areas, few chairs, awnings above, glass railing to take nothing away from the views. And right in the center, we have this oversized jacuzzi with a glass front. You just get in, relax, enjoy this yacht. And I just love the elevation here since we're on the top deck. You can see the surroundings very clearly. And we're here in the Bahamas. I feel so fortunate that we got the opportunity to stay on board, to tour this yacht, and share our experiences with all of you. I really enjoyed our time here, between the scenery and the amazing crew and this incredible yacht, and all of it coming together was fantastic. I just really loved it. That's, that's, that was one of the best experiences I had. This is a memory I will eternally be grateful for and will remember for the rest of my life. 
As night fell on our last night on Flag, I couldn't help but feel grateful for the incredible experience. Tommy Hilfiger's passion for design and excellence brought him to the top of his industry, and his super yacht was a reflection of the success he had achieved. Everything about this experience was top of the line, and I hope we've done a good job conveying it in this video. But more than anything, I was inspired by his willingness to share his story and give us a small glimpse into his lifestyle. This was truly a moment that me and the rest of the team will never forget. All right, everyone, that's it from Motor Yacht Flag. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Captain Patrick and his crew were fantastic. They took care of us so well and we really enjoyed our time here. Now I wanna give big thanks to the owners, Tommy Hilfiger and Dee Hilfiger for having us on board and sharing their thoughts with us. And I also wanna give big thanks to the listing brokerage, Burgess, for putting this trip together and making this video possible. Like we said earlier, this yacht is available for charter and it is also on the market for sale and you can find more information in the description of this video. Now, if you enjoyed this tour, make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.